It's time for an honest review of the new Atarashi Gakko song and sometimes I feel like I'm probably the best person to do this because as you guys might know if you've been following the channel for a while I really want this band to do well and yet I've been up and down on a lot of their songs. They have songs that I absolutely adore and could repeat listen to all day and they have songs that I would gladly chuck off a bridge on fire and yet this is a group who are so able to do so many different things because they are pushing boundaries. They're trying to do interesting things and that is why I am going to give my honest review on this song, let's unpack. Hi there and welcome back to Japan where I can say that Atarashi Gakko have delivered a song that I really enjoyed. Well, there's two sides to it. Why are you so caring about my opinion? Well, I'm assuming that's why you clicked on this video to begin with, or at least to hear someone ramble, or maybe you thought this was a reaction video. Sorry. Anyway, let's talk about the good and bad of this song, and overall why I did actually enjoy it in the end. So let's start by talking about the positive points of this song. And first and foremost, we have to really talk about just how rhythmically infectious this song is. It got that rhythm that just keeps on bobbing your head all the way through. And not just in that kind of, hey, we got a funky beat and we're just gonna repeat play it until you're in a trance-like state. No, this is actually genuinely fun and it's infectious partly because of just how much fun you get from the vocal performances. Yes, each member of Atarashi Gakko at their best can really deliver a very different vocal style and you get that a lot here, whether it be the rapped bits, the chanted bits, or the sung chorus, there's a lot of different vocal work going on as in the different voices, and most of all in just the sheer amount of energy they project, the amount of personality that comes through in their performances. So that side really, really works. Now of course, talking of that, we have to also talk about another thing which is just so much one of Atarashi Gakko's qualities, which is being able to combine sort of rapped and chanted bits with a chorus. We do actually get a really good payoff in the chorus here. It's a catchy chorus. It's not their catchiest chorus, I must admit. However, it is still a very catchy chorus, certainly worthy of a single. And we've got rap going on in the verses, more sort of chant and rap. We'll get back to that a little bit later. But that does give you a nice two sides to the song. It really does feel like this song is not just sort of, again, repeating one thing, but giving you lots of different things to engage with. Now, we have to talk a little bit about where it maybe falls down. Now, there's no doubt that, as with most Atarashi Gakko songs, the idea is to mostly be simple and direct, not to be overly complicated. However, I do feel that this song left a few things on the table that it could have perhaps done more with. Now, first of all, I would say we did get that wrapped bit, but that was only really in the first verse. The second verse just kind of went back to the chant, and then we got a bridge, which was kind of guitar solo-y, which is all fine, but it just didn't really seem to play to the song's strengths, which was mostly the vocals. I felt they could have done something vocally interesting and you know, done more with maybe a third verse, or just you know adding some more rap. I mean, the few bars of rap we did get were all pretty much in the exact same rhythmic delivery, I just felt like there was more that the vocalist, that the members of Atarashi Gakko could have done with this. And then on top of that as well, I must admit that I was not a big fan of the production. Now, I did like the distortion on the vocals. That was a nice choice because it kind of gave it that sort of urgent screechy vibe and it went away in the chorus. That's all good. However, there was a distortion on the bass that I was not so keen on. And overall, the mix was way too mono. I, it just felt like it was completely lacking character. I, in fact, had to play with my headphones just to check they weren't broken because I just couldn't believe how thin everything sounded. So anyway, I kind of felt this song had the whole vibe of just potential left on the table, which for me affects the replay value. I'm not so tempted to go back and re-listen to this song because it doesn't have that sort of variety of verses and rhythms. You look at bands like, for example, uh, Wagamama Rakia. If you look at where they get the most replays in their music videos, it tends to be the rap bit. You put a really interesting rap into a song and it does work. And this is a group who can rap. And so for me, they rely in this song and on others just too much on the chanted bits, you know, the bit where they chant something and it's designed clearly for them to chant the audience to chant back. I think if they had more interesting rhythmic rap sections or just extended the song so it had a little bit of chanting and a little bit more rap, then I think you could get more topically into the song and you could make the song just overall a little bit more fleshed out, a little bit more interesting, give them more room. And certainly when it comes to the production, um, this needed to get a proper stereo mix. I know maybe they're going for that retro feel, but it just doesn't work. It just sounds cheap. And I felt this song deserved better when it came to the production and mix than just that sort of cheap, thin, tinny kind of production that they gave it in the final analysis. 
So in conclusion, yes, I did enjoy this song. It certainly was one that I've enjoyed listening to a few times over since it was released a couple of hours ago, trying to put together my review. However, I can't deny I'm not going to be overly tempted to go and give it multiple re-listens. It's going to be one where it's probably going to seep into a playlist or something like that. And a lot of that is just down to the fact that it doesn't give you so much to grab hold of. It, it, it feels like there's a lot more that could have been done with this. So that's my final thoughts on this. As always, get in the comments to what you think. Um, and also, as always, I am someone who really wants this band to do well. And of course, they are doing much better than I could ever achieve. So my reviews are just my opinions. But hey, I'm assuming that's why you click on them. You don't have to agree, but I'm looking forward to seeing what you say in the comments. Maybe you agree about various things in which the band could do better. I don't know, but until I see you in the comments or hopefully soon on the next video, for now, ciao, ciao.